Hello everyone, today I am excited to show you my custom local area network in Minecraft where we will explore how that is transmitted between different buildings in the game. It's like main internet right here in Minecraft world. This is the 8-bit receiver. It's where magic starts. That is split in two sections. The first four bits represent the address of building we want to send data to. And the other four bits carry the actual data instruction. It's like sending a letter. First, we write down where it is going. Then we write the message. These grey cables are the address gates. With 4 bits we can create 15 combinations. This lets us target any specific building connected to the network. Imagine each building has its own unique house number. And these bits are how we dial the number. Now the Mickey's Resolution headquarters is special. It's only building with authority to send data across the network. Think of it as central command sent, controlling all the connected buildings. I designed it this way so we can manage everything from one place. This is where things get interesting. We are going to use the network to control this pump remotely by sending specific data. It's like flipping a switch from another building using only data. Here we are in control room. As you can see, we have two four-bit sections. One for the address and one for the data. After setting bot, we simply hit the send button. It's like writing a mail. You pick who it's going to and what the message is. And then you hit send. Water health car is on first address. So we flip switches for 0001. The data sequence to turn off pump is also 0001. Let's send the date. The date is transmitted here to Mickey's Rip Studios Central. First, the address is selected, which triggers the piston for the water health care building. Once the correct address is matched, the data continues its journey to destination. It's like routing a letter through a postal system. The data knows exactly where to go. Here we are at water health car. The transmitter receives the data, processes it, and now the pump is being turned off. As you can see, the pump is now off. It's all controlled through the network, showing the reliability and precision of the system. Now let's turn the pump back on. The address and the date are already set to 0001, so we will just send the date again. And here we are, the pump is back on. Now this system could be expanded further. If I add more receivers, I could control more buildings or even automate some tasks. This opens up tons of possibilities for Minecraft automation, from turning lights on and off to triggering complex machines. And that's it. Be sure to subscribe for more Minecraft projects and ideas. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.